or all you need here is the uh, these here needles and them pliers and a multi head one of them and some fucking fucking AC line connected neck and goddamn her one of these here so every time you get mad you can take out a piece of piece of your goddamn dashboard yep mm -hmm. so this here is my truck I uh, wasn't getting, it wasn't blowing on that AC the past three months. Kept freezing up, dropping water outside the AC drain. And uh, anyway, did the die. It would have been a $2,700 pair, but decided just to fucking kick in the gear. Watch some videos, tear this sucker apart. And uh, that's where we are right now. Got parts back there. You know, fucking parts up there. Yep, and uh, anyway, I just went through this sucker here. Here's the box right there. Got to pull that out to get the components. It's faulty. Had to remove the fucking shit there. Air box, breathe, cold air. Hey, look, I daylighting. There's the cabin right there. And uh, anyway, it's turned into be a real cock sucker. So to make it better, I, uh, you know, took my cock and just beat shit with it. I was beating some shit there. Sometimes I use that when I was getting frustrated to fuck and uh, shot a little jizz down in there, but the turbo I figured chew it up real nice. Spit it out the back on somebody. Suit life. Suit life. <laughs> so anyway, come out here. Got your stack of tools that you need. This is all the shit you need for your pair. This is a motherfucker right here. This bitch here was fucked. All that shit for this little hunk of dory. Hunky the door door. Yeah. That's what that shit is. But anyway, hope this helps out. This quick repair of an 08 Ram diesel 4x4. And uh, good luck. Piece of cake. It's about a 15 minute project. So anybody can do it with a set of tools, a screwdriver, and a Leatherman. And you're good. Alright, good eye, Mike. I just want to give you a little five second tour, maybe times ten, how to change your evaporator core. Basically, you need these two tools. A fucking fucked up set of pliers <laughs> and, and this here screwdriver. And you can rip out here the HVAC box and come up here. You rip this shit out here, all this shit here. You know, fucking a bread box and batter box, fucking shit. And come back here. And what you gotta do is you use just these two tools here. You can pick them up anywhere. And you rip this shit out here. All this shit here, you gotta take some screws out. Take some screws. Careful, there's like a screw. Screw here. Like over there. And some sh some shit you gotta unplug over there. There's like a there's like a dashboard here. And some shit up there. And you just pop and use just these two tools here. And you get it right out. No problem. It's about a 15 minute project. Anybody can do it with with these set of tools here. Don't forget to disconnect the battery. You don't want to shock or bust out the airbag. You know what I'm saying. Don't forget to put on a good thick amount of weather stripping. Put on that weather stripping there. Make it nice and easy. Real easy to go in. You know. So I'll put this here. Right where it belongs. Which is like. Hope this video is not too wiggly for you. Giving you a little. Dotty dotty. Should go right there, just like that. You got the squeaks in, squeaky, squeaky clean, Sally. Yeah, like that. This sucker sits all nice and pretty. There she is. Kapow! Yeah, and you gotta like mount that and make sure to fell flapper and box box air in and the this and the that and use this. Don't forget your screwdriver now. It's really important to get the screwdriver. All right, this here is the HVAC back at a uh, HVAC box here, and uh, I put it together. It's about you know about 300 screws around the side. It took me about 30 seconds by hand, right there. And shit, tear it up, dude. You know what I'm saying? All right, there's the box right there, and uh, I'm gonna put it, I think, back up in there, and I gotta push it through them glory holes right there. If you got one of these kids here, they make a great asset for these hard to work spots. 
So if you don't got a kid, go to your neighbor's house. Maybe you can borrow one. Preferably, I don't know, four foot or less to help them get around up in that small spaces up in there. Yep. What do you think about that, Sea Munch? Do you like that? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So now's the time. Got to hook and drag and vacuum pump. Get all shit hooked up like that. And uh, I had to take out this shit twice because the first time I couldn't set up that air. That silver line. It's just all tweaked out. This one down here behind the batter box. You see right there. That motherfucker. Can you see that line? Where is that line? Right there. Right there. That there line was a pain in the ass. So what I found out is you got to run shit straight from the front all the way back in one line. So click, 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 click. If you try to click and click, it's just not going to happen. So anyway, I'm daylighting this bitch. It's been a long run at her. And I'm goddamn her. Check this out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's vacuumed and not leaking. And a brand new.